How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Crypto is bleeding right now. Bitcoin's falling. Altcoins are falling. We want to talk about why this is, what's happening in the market, what you can look forward to, what happens next. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on this bell notification underneath the video right next to the subscribe button. So that way you can see every video as soon as it comes out. Also, there are a few links down there in case you want to know what we're looking at, what cryptos I'm looking at, along with a handful of other influencers that do really well in the crypto space, you can check out the link to HG Access underneath the video. We've had so many people sign up for this recently. A lot of people wanting to get the alpha from influencers who are talking to projects behind the scenes. Also, there's a link down there to Marjex. In case you want to trade cryptocurrency, we have bounced around this $40,000 mark several times. If you want to play this and you want to try to buy the bomb or leverage a little bit there is a link to this underneath the video as well they have no kyc you can sign up in just a few minutes it's also linked down there to heatbit in case you want a space heater that also mines some bitcoin this is a project uh, or a company i should say that actually gave me one of these heaters and uh, i've been trying it out i did a few videos on it as well uh, and it is pretty cool they just won the ces innovation award they're rated excellent on trustpilot and you can sign up and get five percent back or 5% off with the link underneath the video. Now, crypto is bleeding. You know, I, I want to be clear. I'm very bullish on crypto. I'll tell you why this is actually probably a good thing here in a second. But as you can see, like certain sectors are just doing so well today. Like the stock market is up significantly. Um, Google is up near all time highs. It's within a few dollars of all time highs. Um, we have seen just the stock market in general, the S&P 500 hit all time highs. And yet, Bitcoin's bleeding, crypto's bleeding. A lot of people are just kind of scared right now. Like we've gone from greed on the fear and greed index to uh, neutral slash maybe even fear right now. Tesla announces earnings later this week. We have PCE as well, which is the Fed's in the, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. So some people are looking at this like, hey, is Tesla going to say anything about Bitcoin or what kind of inflation numbers are we going to get? Is that going to cause more fear in risk assets in general we saw some outflows as well like we saw this huge week of inflows into crypto uh, products and we actually saw outflows this last week and it's actually decently significant like 21 million out and 12.7 million that went in actually went to short bitcoin which is actually like the opposite so it's almost like we had 12.5 or 12.7 million in outflows instead of 12.7 in inflows so it was like it was actually a pretty bad week in terms of institutional investments. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this is due to Grayscale selling. Like Grayscale did dump more Bitcoin. Grayscale deposited 15,000 Bitcoin this morning, just a few minutes ago, or $624 million to Coinbase Prime to sell. Uh, so far, since the ETF was passed, Grayscale has deposited 64,000 Bitcoin, or almost $3 billion dollars. Uh, during the opening market of or the opening hours of the stock market uh, every day. So now Grayscale holds 550,000 Bitcoin. A lot of people are wondering like, okay, is this bleeding going to stop or is this just going to continue? Are we just going to continue to fall down on Bitcoin? I mean, some people were looking at this chart thinking, wow, okay, we went from 49,000 all the way down to 40,000. Some people are so scared right now. Now I will say just zoom out a little bit. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And you can see we had this crazy run, 16,500, pretty much it, pretty much a 45 degree angle up. Now we're having this little cool off period after this huge run. I think this is actually a gift, to be honest. Uh, we could bleed further. Some people are looking at 39 thousand seven hundred some people are saying no we're gonna pull back maybe even to this thirty six thirty seven thousand dollar range where we consolidated a long time some people are saying no thirty two makes sense because that's the last time that we saw some significant resistance maybe we'll fall down to there and then bounce off no matter where we go keep in mind we are still far away from the all-time high like we still have a huge amount of gains just to get to the all-time high and we've seen this before you can go from ten thousand dollar bitcoin down to four thousand dollar bitcoin uh, right before having that's what happened last time that's what happened last bull market or right before the last bull market i am not worried about this you know i know we got some new people into crypto 
and they want to time it perfectly, my thought process is DCA and chill. The majority of my crypto is just long-term bags. I'm just accumulating, and I see this as a gift. You know, all these people wanted 50x gainers, uh, 1,000x gains, but if you can't handle a 7% down move on Bitcoin, you don't deserve a 50x. Uh, some of the cryptos we've talked about recently on HG Access, still up huge over the last couple of weeks, but they are experiencing some pullbacks. Anything in the market is experiencing some pullbacks. And this is why I say it's important to have some cash on the sidelines, never to go all in. Sometimes you miss out on some upside, but it's also nice for days like this where you can go out and buy some cryptos that you've been watching for a while. And there are some cryptos that I think are at really good valuation. Some cryptos that are coming to the market here very soon. I'll make a video later today on some cryptos that I'm buying right now or that I'm watching because I know a lot of people want those. So overall, yes, Grayscale continues to dump. Uh, it's kind of a quiet day besides that. It's just like constant dumping. I think this is good. Some consolidation, some uh, retests of prior support levels. Of course, we could always break down to the downside, but long term, I just think that's a buying in opportunity. And what you can see is like, yes, uh, Grayscale is selling, but it's just continuously transferring to stronger hands like Fidelity, like BlackRock. They hold more than 64,000 Bitcoin. They continue to buy for their clients. So they are not worried about the short term. Their clients aren't worried for the short term. They're buying to hold long term. And of course, there are some exceptions to that. There are always people that are going to trade a little bit. But I'll continue to monitor this. Now, we're also seeing a bit of a breakdown on the ETH BTC chart. You can see here ETH falling down a little bit, maybe, maybe bouncing off this prior resistance level. But it'll be interesting if this retests and bounce off, bounces off this line, it may be a good time to really consider buying some more ETH for the next bull run. And as you can see, Bitcoin dominance starting to move back up. Does it move back up above this line? Possibly. So I am watching a lot of different charts right now. Again, I just think of this as a positive to see some consolidation, to see a pullback, 20% pullback after this big event happened. I think is actually a decent thing. We're going to see some liquidation, so be careful if you are leveraging. Uh, and we're also going to see some good opportunities in cryptos, uh, some good opportunities in altcoins. As I've said, I have some dry powder on the sideline, so I'm happy if we have a pullback. I'm also happy, heck, I'm happy if we go up too. There's money to be made either way. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, be on the lookout for that video later today going over some of the top cryptos that I'm looking at buying right now. Thank you so much. Check out the links to Margex in case you want to trade. Check out the link to HG Access in case you want to know what we're seeing in the market. And check out Heatbit as well. And heck, if you need a treasure wallet, if you haven't already gotten a cold storage wallet, check out that link underneath the video too. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.